This tutorial will show you how to create a pattern and then paint that pattern onto a background. First thing you want to do is create a small file size. So I'm going to make a new file and make it 10 pixels by 10 pixels, 72 dpi. And for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a grid that you can then place on top of something else for kind of a high-tech feel. Um, if we zoom way in on this tiny file, we can select a row of pixels at the top with the single row marquee tool. And we'll fill that with black. And then we'll select a single row on the right with, this, with the single column marquee tool. And we'll fill that with black also. I used a shortcut, Option or Alt Delete. Um, that will fill with the foreground color without having to go through this menu. Now I'm just going to hit Select All, or Command A, or Control A, and go to fi Edit, Define Pattern. You can name it whatever you want. I'll call this one Grid. And I'm done. Now I can open up another file, and I'll open up something high techy, kind of like an Ethernet cable is. And I can make a new layer. And on this new layer, I'll hit Edit Fill, and I'll choose Pattern, and I'll select my grid from that pattern. And now I have a grid covering the whole background. Now if I had wanted a tighter grid or a bigger grid, I could have used uh, less than 10 pixels or greater than 10 pixels on my original file. And layer one has the grid, and the background is down here. I'll switch the layer mode to multiply. Um, and at this point, you can play with the opacity. You could maybe add a layer mask. And on the layer mask, use a brush to mask off some of the some of the image um, but there's all kinds of things we can do with that so uh, that's how you make simple patterns for creating textures on top of imagery